Let's make a screen recording. So once you've loaded your Screencast-O-Matic or Screencastify, sorry, on your extensions, you'll just go ahead and click on it. And now you've got your desktop. It's going to ask you where you want your audio. You've got some choices here. It asks you what camera you want. You've got some choices there. You can do tab recording, but right now we're going to just go with that. We're going to record our desktop. And I can do my entire screen or just an application window. I'm going to do the entire screen right now, and I'm going to go ahead and click share. Get the countdown. And now I'm recording, so it will record everything that I do. So I can go to a website and do whatever I would like to do. And then when I'm finished, then I can just hit the stop recording button. And we're going to end the recording. Do, so I can go to a website. So now we can share it, we can download it, we can crop and trim it, we can delete it. If I click the back button, it'll show that I've got my one recording is being uploaded to Google Drive. I should be able to go to my drive and find my recording. It's going to be in a folder called Screencastify. And I put my Screencastify away somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. There's my folder Screencastify and there is my um, recording that I just did. So that's all there is to it. It saves in Google Drive. It creates its own folder. I just happened to move it into my Google folder. So that's why I couldn't find it temporarily. So that's all you need to do to it.